Uh, thank you very much, um, Governor Abdullahi, for those remarks. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, now it's my pleasure to invite my Waziri, uh, Honorable Ali Swahome, to come and uh, make her remarks and invite our chief guest for today. And because I'm not coming back here again, as she comes, allow me to uh, request my dear governors. This urban agenda is very important. Um, the inverse of what, Waziri, you can come. Uh, I'm just buying time. Uh, the inverse of what urbanization should be, which is high quality of life, is happening in Kenya. The most marginalized person lives in the urban area is the urban poor. Let us focus on this issue of urbanization and ensure more resources are devolved to the urban, ab urbanized uh, government. Thank you so much, Waziri Karibu. Thank you. Let's uh, have a good clap for Hinga. Uh, when I was seated there, I was wondering whether we are hungry, and then I realized lunch is approaching, because the claps are very faint. I want to request that we give a big clap to all our guests who have come, and specifically uh, Excellencies, the governors, for being here in big numbers. Please let me have a big clap for the governors. Yes, that's better. Let's have a big clap now for our chief guest. Once again, the Otumukari Bisek is our sour kikwetu. I want to just uh, my role this uh, afternoon is really to receive uh, His Excellency the Prime Cabinet Secretary. But uh, before then, I will make just very few remarks. I want to recognize his presence here. I believe he's here on his own behalf, and particularly on behalf of His Excellency the President, because this morning we had planned that we would have His Excellency the President, but as we go along, we shall know when the President is joining us. I believe Friday he will be here. So it's a whole week for us. Your Excellency, the Governor Kware County, my good friend, thank you very much for hosting us. Her Excellency Fatuma Achani, let's have a clap for her. Thank you very much. then to say a few, give a few remarks so that I can usher in our Prime Cabinet uh, Secretary. And thank you very much, Musari uh, Amdavadi, uh, I'm a DVD. Initially, I thought when you call him a DVD, you will be maybe becoming, going out of order, but I realized it's a nickname, and uh, we all appreciate your work in this government. And um, therefore, allow me to say just very few remarks. We are very excited, actually, to have everybody here. It's, it's, I think it's very big for us. We are looking forward to the week.
green living spaces and community hall embodying our holistic approach to urban development. The success of affordable housing program hinges on collaboration. We are deeply grateful for the unwavering support from our partners across the country and the public institutions that also have come on board, universities, Nairobi University and other universities, private organizations, financiers or banking sector, developers, contractors, built environment professionals, construction managers, professional bodies, media outlets, and county governments nationwide. I must extend special thanks to the county government of Kware for their exceptional support and guidance in the lead up to these events. I am confident that our discussion this week will yield insights into the program's success, the challenges that we're going through or we have uh, met, and future aspirations and strategies. Distinguished guests and our chief guest, Kwara County's role extends beyond hosting the Affordable Housing and Urbanization Week. Later today, we will conduct a governor's induction focused on Kenya Urban Support Program, or KUSIP2, a pivotal initiative aimed at strengthening our urban institutions and infrastructure within our municipalities. This underscores the national government's commitment to nurturing our devolved units, addressing the complex challenges facing urban areas and cities across the country through a coordinated multi-agency approach. It, when I say that, I do appreciate the comments or the feedback by the new chair of the COG that uh, we need more collaboration, particularly that uh, we need to now work very quickly on the framework of engagement for purposes of the, the affordable housing program because uh, the county governments are at the center of this uh, program. And I can assure you of my commitment, but more so the commitment of the head of state in ensuring that the county governments take center stage. And uh, we are so far want to confirm that whenever issues arise, I find that my principal secretary is very quick to addressing any conflicts that are any issues that are likely to get into conf unnecessary conflict. And, and I agree that we need to move quickly because we also need, with the framework, we also then need to move to the committees, the county committees that will enable us draw into the affordable housing program. Of course, we need to thank the Kenyans for allowing us to, to continue to receive the affordable housing levy. I think the negativity that was there, largely it was misinformation. I'm glad to know that when, as the houses are coming up, the units are coming up, and as we now get into the next phase of releasing the units into the population, into people, we know that uh, there will be better reception and, uh, and definitely the number of jobs that we are creating is for us most satisfactory uh, product of the housing, affordable housing program. I know that all of you Kenyans have actually seen the passion that His Excellency the President is handling this program. As a minister, as a cabinet secretary, I'm I'm very happy because this program is receiving a very huge uh, attention and uh, attention and support f from His Excellency the, the President. So for us as Kenyans, we are happy that the, and it's not an easy job to provide uh, 200,000 200, units, Your Excellency, the Chief Guest. The amount of money we require, the amount of materials, the amount, the number of professionals that we need. We even need now to challenge the universities to produce more professionals in the, this building sector because 
it's, it's not a small number. So far, we have 100, 120, as you have heard my principal secretary confirm. By end of this year, I believe we shall be hitting our 200,000 mark. And uh, you recall that we had various challenges, including litigations. We are still handling those. But that, those challenges have not stopped us from implementing the program. It's now my great pressure to invite uh, His Excellency, the Prime Cabinet Secretary, to address this gathering. Karibu Sana, assist me in welcoming him with a clap, a good warm clap. Yes, Karibu. Thank you.